हेलो देर गाइस वेलकम टू डी नोज वर्ल्ड अरे बाप रे मैं फ्रेम में नहीं हूँ क्या अरे कैमरा मैन फ्रेम में नहीं हूँ क्या मैं नहीं, नहीं है ये देखो डीनो वाला एंट्रेंस ओ ये वेलकम टू डी नोज वर्ल्ड डीनो स्टाइल एंड वी आर ऑल सेट टू वेलकम ह्यूज कोर्ना बैक इन इंडिया इन अ ग्लोरियस फॉर्म ह्यूश को अरना कैसे प्रोनाउंस करते हैं बस इश्क और ह्यूश्क ये याद रख लीजिए ह्यूश्क से इश्क ना हो जाए इश्क ने ह्यूश से इश्क ह्यू ह्यूश्क से ना हो जाए एनीवे वे टैंक ट्विस्टर बेसिकली इश्क जो वर्ड है द मोमेंट यू लुक एट दीज मशीन्स आपको इश्क हो जाएगा दैट इज़ हाउ गुड ह्यूश को अरना इज बस आपको प्रोनाउंस करना आना चाहिए बट एनी वे जोक सोसाइड ह्यूश को अरना इज अ ग्लोरियस ब्रांड a brand that celebrates a legacy of nearly 120 years born back in 1903 and now more than 120 years of rich legacy motorcycling and uh, something out of the ordinary that they have always established 100 world titles when it comes to racing pedigree that is an astounding statement of their domination so now we are all set <coughs> for their come back because when they first introduced the 250s uh, well people were expecting the 401s derived from the duke 390 but uh, we had to kept uh, we were kept waiting but now i think the time has come for huge kurna to actually make a statement as to what the brand truly stands up for it is a lifestyle statement it is a fashion statement it is a youth icon and it is absolutely progressive dynamic and super fun in every aspect because lightweight and rigidity actually defines performance and those are two words you can associate with huge corner the moment you cast your eyes on the machine so we have two launches from huge corner uh, we are here in pune and uh, the 401 swat pillan we all know the name and the derivation behind the name so swat pillan means black arrow wit pillan means white arrow i had explained this during my first huge corner encounter and review so what does the swat pillan now has on offer and what does the wit pillan has on offer we're going to look at the wit pillan later but for now we have the swat pillan in its glorious new avatars so talking about the design that is where the huge corner distinguishes itself from other brands because of the progressive dynamic and uh, you know unique styling so up front we have the signature round headlamp with the uh, drl that really comes alive once it lights up and then they have offered a fly screen which wasn't there earlier but uh, the round headlamp is so massive that it gives uh, immense road presence again the turn blinkers are led and they are styled differently when compared to the ktms so that also adds of uh, adds a sense of visual appeal the front fender again very neatly put together I feel this kind of fit and finish uh, and uh, the 401 should have been the bike with which Hugh Kwarna should have entered uh, the Indian market and that would have paved the way for uh, a completely different uh, dimension but anyway the way the shocks are covered you have WP Apex suspension up front 320 mm massive disc up front as well and spoke wheels with Pirelli Scorpion tires at this price point i mean 2.92 lakhs ex showroom is the pricing and for this pricing offering Pirelli Scorpion tires of the flagship quality is hats off to Hugh Kwarna and uh, yeah spoke wheels these are tube tires so that is one thing you need to keep in mind and coming to the profile here again the progressive design language comes full circle with the tank taking center stage very i mean it looks like the craftsmanship of a artist i mean of a sculptor it has been sculpted to perfection and meticulously crafted to you know 
appeal to anyone who casts their eyes and uh, looks so futuristic and so contemporary in every aspect. Again, uh, the details of Huge Corner branding uh, on the side panels and the rack on top uh, of the uh, fuel tank. Everything comes together in perfect harmony. And then, of course, you have the trellis frame and the bolt-on subframe. Uh, you don't get that aluminum subframe from the 390, but you get a tubular subframe. So I'm just trying to highlight a few, uh, you know, differences uh, because the engine might have been derived from the KTM Duke 390, but uh, rest of the elements are all completely uh, huge corner written all over it. The seat comes all the way on top of the tank uh, to highlight comfort. The foam quality is much better than that, than that of the new gen uh, 390. And even the pillion seat is easily accessible and offers adequate space. I mean, they say it is the longest seat, but then when you sit on the bike, say for instance, I sit on the bike, the pillion uh, room is still usable. And that is the uh, one thing that uh, makes it far more practical for day-to-day -day usage. Again, the riding posture and the rider's triangle is well sorted. Uh, it is not very upright, the handlebar, but it is not too low like the previous gen Whitpillen, which was uh, really, really committed proper cafe racer seating posture. This is not a cafe racer. This is more of a scrambler. So we would have expected a slightly lifted up handlebar because you want to stand up and ride, especially when you are offering uh, Pirelli Scorpion tires. People want to make full use of it with spoke wheels and all. But uh, we get a street control kind of a handlebar, a street fighter style handlebar, which offers good ergonomic position for daily usability, for uh, weekend rides and for touring as well. But for standing up and riding, I don't think this is tall enough. Either ways, again, I talk about the seating comfort, very good uh, cushioning and a decent amount of pillion room. And the foot pegs are slightly rear set such that you can corner hard on mountain twisties. Coming to the tail section, here again the tail lamp remains the same as prior uh, very neatly encapsulated and this is an ugly sore i mean i have to say that the entire design is so beautifully crafted that uh, this uh, grab bar sticks out as an ugly sore the first thing if i buy one for myself is get rid of this and even huge corner i think realized that because this is there for indian conditions and uh, Last time when they had uh, launched the wit pillin and the SWAT pillin, they had the option of removing this and they used to give a badge of SWAT or wit pillin, which you can put here to add a little bit of seamless uh, uh, tail integration and uh, highlighting the entire design, making it uh, look far more visually appealing. Also, again, the tires, 150 section rear tires, 17 inches, spoke wheels, Pirelli Scorpion tires, beautifully crafted uh, Aluminium swing arm here uh, to take on more punishment and the offset monoshock is taken from the Duke 390 and it is there for a purpose to lower the seat height to and to house a larger air box which allows the engine to breathe easy and uh, you can rev the hell out of the engine. Then of course uh, the side mounted uh, uh, exhaust makes way for uh, underbelly exhaust now in the 4 401 and it looks very neatly put together even the thing surrounding it is all metal you also get a bash plate to protect the engine compartment and uh, now talking about the engine this is where the magic happens so the 401 comes powered by the same 399 cc liquid cooled fuel injected uh, uh, engine that uh, puts out around uh, 46 ps of max power and 39 newton meters of max torque comes mated to a six speed gearbox uh, the gear ratios are well matched. It is not shorter gear ratios nor taller gear ratios. So we're going to give you the right impression in a moment. Uh, but then the way the engine is housed, the detailing, the attention to detailing, everything is meticulous and absolutely brilliant. And then the tank capacity. Again, earlier the tank capacity used to suffer really badly because it was just a 9.5 litre tank. Now, of course, you get a 13.5 litre tank to offer more tank range and in terms of mileage they say you can expect uh, close to 30 kmpl from the swat pillin and uh, around 32 kmpl from the wit pillin 250 that is a 250 this is a 401 or 400 cc bike so for that 30 kmpl is very very reasonable and very very acceptable <coughs> next let's take a look at the switch gear the handlebar and the console okay now taking a look at the speedo console 
So I was a little apprehensive as to whether they'll retain the same layout as that of the uh, Duke, but thankfully they have distinguished it and given the huge Kvarna uh, design layout and user interface of its own. The entire layout is different. You have a gear position indicator to the right, speedo console here, rev counter in the middle, and side stand uh, indicator, the ABS mode and the traction control mode and the ride mode which we are using. So to get into the main menu, you have to first of all make sure the ignition is on and then get into the settings so here you have motorcycle bike in four trip in four speed control and other settings so if you get into the settings you have shift light programming clock and date units and language and other extra functions so we get out of here and we go back to speed control so <coughs> This is not cruise control, this is speed control and then of course trip info, bike info, motorcycle and here you have the riding modes but uh, here it comes with only one riding mode which is street, there is no off-road mode but ABS has road mode and super motor mode so ABS as you can see here is turned off in super motor mode on the rear wheel so that is something you can play around with and uh, <coughs> similarly traction control is on and you can actually turn it off completely so the wheel spin can actually skid the vehicle but you can perform those stunts and uh, drift around with the MTC off it's up to you whether you want to turn it on or off so for now let's turn it on <coughs> and ABS also will put it to road mode and ride mode is already set so this is a run through of the user interface of the uh, huge corner 401 and uh, you can see here compression and rebound damping the front uh, 43 mm usd folks wp apex folks come with adjustment for compression and rebound damping so at this price point of 2.92 lakhs giving state-of-the-art flagship suspension and also adjustable front suspension it talks about the kind of value proposition this uh, bike brings to the segment similarly the offset monoshock is uh, preload adjustable as well so that is something you need to know so that's about it uh, seat height is 820 mm so earlier it was 842 mm so it is down 22 mm so it is far more easily accessible for average height riders the ground clearance is 177 mm so decent enough to not worry about uh, the bottom scraping here and there and uh, <coughs> then of course suspension travel is 151 uh, mm front and 161 mm at the back and this remains the same for the width pillion and the swart pillion so calling this a scrambler they should have given longer suspension travel at least to the front and given a, a larger 19 inch wheel but then uh, for daily usability and uh, you know more uh, flexibility and versatility they have stuck with the uh, 17 inches so that adds to better flickability and maneuverability in city conditions and decent amount of off-roading capabilities so that wraps up the overview and price as i already told you is 2.92 lakhs x showroom and the mileage that you can expect is 30 kmpl so enough of talking about the theory part and the motorcycle let's go ahead and ride and let us see whether the 401 really packs a punch